In this video, we'll look at calculating probabilities using the normal distribution with a spreadsheet. Now, any normal distribution is described by its mean and standard deviation. First, we'll consider problem number 50. Here, the mean is 54, and the standard deviation is 8. In order to find probabilities, we need to think of probability as area. And we can find area to the left. We can find area to the right. And we can find area between. Okay, so in this first example, we're looking to find the probability that x is greater than 56. This would be area to the right, since we're going greater than. Greater than is always area to the right. So area to the right of 56. Right? So this would be probability that x is greater than 56. And we could find this using the norm... norm dist command. You specify the x value and the mean and the standard deviation and put in 1 for cumulative. Now this is not going to be the answer because by default this norm dist command gives you the probability to the left be the area to the left of a certain number. Now, we want the area to the right. So you remember that the area to the right is 1 minus the area to the left. So we will do 1 minus this, and that will give us the area to the right. Consider 51, where we want the area to the left of x equals 30. In this problem, we can use the norm disk command as it's set up. Put in the x value, the mean, and the standard deviation, and 1. So this is how the function is designed to find the area to the left. So we don't need to subtract it from 1. So that's going to be the probability that x is less than 30. Let's now find the area between those two values between 30 and 56. To find the probability or area between two values, we'll have to calculate the normal distribution to the left of the larger one and then subtract probability to the left of the smaller one. So first we'll use the larger value That's going to be the area to the left of 56. Now you want to take away the area to the left of 30, and that will just leave you with the area between 30 and 56. If you happen to subtract the wrong way, you'll get a negative probability, and we know negative probabilities don't make sense. So you shouldn't have a problem with subtracting the wrong way. So that will give us the area between those two under the curve, and that's the probability that x is between 30 and 56. Now, changing these numbers around for the mean and the values of the random variable, you can then find the probabilities for anything you want. Let us now consider the alternate problem of finding values for the random variable.
we can specify the area to the left, the area to the right, or the middle area. A good example of finding area to the left is example is a problem number 52, where we want to find the 80th percentile. Remember, the 80th percentile means 80% of the population is less than or equal to that value, which means the area to the left is 0.8. So using the decimal form of that percent number, we can then find the 80th percentile. To do this, we'll use the norm inverse command. Tell it what the probability is. And when we give this probability, it's always a area to the left. And then the mean, and then the standard deviation. And this will give us the 80th percentile. Now, if I happen to be given the area to the right, like I wanted to know um, uh, an individual that is uh, in the population and it's only smaller than 10% of the population, right? Or the area to the right is given as 0 0.1. Well, then we would just convert this to an area to the left. Because the areas to the right and left of any value have to add up to 1. So if the area to the right is 0 0.1, and the area left is 1 minus that, which of course is 0.9. And then you can find the probability. So we would do the same norm inverse command, and then we give it to the area to the left. Mean and then the standard deviation, and that's it. So this would find the probability so that the area to the right is 0.1, which is the same as the probability that the area to the left is 0.9, since that's the same value for the random variable. Oh, and then this is uh, the x. It's not the probability. All right. Now let's state what the minimum, the middle area is. Suppose the middle 80%, oh, we already have 80%. Let's do um, the middle 90%. So I want to look at 90% of the area being in the middle. What are the values of the random variable? All right, so x is going to be between two numbers. And what you want to think of is the picture where you have 90% of the area in the middle, which leaves 10% for the two tails. Split that in half, and that's 5% in the left tail, 5% in the right tail. Let's go ahead and write this out. So the area of the tails is 1 minus the middle area. Area of left tail is then half of that. area of left tail and middle is the area of the left tail plus the area of the middle. And we're now we're set to do this. So to find the number on the left, we do the norm inverse command and use the area of the to the left of the left tail. The area of the left tail, sorry. And then the mean and then the standard deviation. And that's what marks off the left tail, right? Because you have that area given. To mark off the right tail, you need to say the area to the left of it. So really, you need to say the area of the middle and the left tail. And that, of course, leaves everything but the right tail. So we do norm inverse, and we use that, right? So again, 5% is in the right tail, which means 95% is to the left of that marker. And there's our mean and our standard deviation. So then those are your two x values. So you can change the middle area and area to the left and area to the right 
and these will automatically update. Um, and then you can change these values for each problem. So just change these input cells for each problem and you can then calculate any of the probabilities which these are the uh, outputs here Alright, you can now calculate any other thing you want to do with the normal probability distribution using